You're back in the shop with me tonight, guys. And this week on the channel, we're gonna do something super special. We're gonna start a new playlist or a video blog series about the shop. Things like, how do I film in my shop? What kind of equipment I use to film that's the easiest and fastest for me? Do I make money off of YouTube out of my wood shop? Also, some of the new equipment that I've been able to afford by having the shop. There's gonna be so much to this series. I'm super stoked about it. So stick around. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company and let's build something. Ta-da! The first thing that we're gonna go over is this little stand that I made. Now I have it on some two or three inch casters here. I have the bottom weighted with about 30 pounds of concrete, and this is my drag-along camera. So I can drag it along anywhere that I want. I can spin it around. I can easily just set it up over top of the joiner here angle it down and I'm shooting at the joiner, which is kind of cool. I can also take it and slide it up high and angle it over anything that I want really fast. So now I'm shooting over top of something and this will go up to nine feet. Now I have it anchored with some screws. It's a $29 tripod from Best Buy. Now the camera that's on top is this awesome Sony camera that I was gifted by my brother. It has a broken clip on it, and I was able to modify that for the top. Now I can shoot it low, and I can shoot it high. So this thing is super cool. I have this orange handle with a little soft grip on the front, and that way I can literally pull it around anywhere I'm going, and it's not gonna knock over because it's got so much weight on the bottom. Now on the top, I have this vlogging cheap, little light and then I also have some lights here in the bottom that I can pull up and stick on as needed to light things up any way that I go and as that goes up you know those will go with it so this thing is actually pretty cool and it makes it so much easier to film in the shop because I'm not fiddling with the camera and I can drag it around anywhere that I want it to go. Something else that's really cool is that inside of this drawer here, I have all of my equipment, all of the charging going up here. I have a little outlet in here that charges all of the GoPro batteries and this camera's battery, the wireless microphone, the light. So that all stays together inside of this little rolling camera. So it's like having a little studio around the shop and I can film it anywhere I want, angle it and adjust it. Super easy. This thing is so rad. And if you watch my first video, I built this with a mechanical system for a Google Pixel Slate. And it's actually really cool. Go back and watch that video. Next, I have this GoPro. Now I have built these little attached clips here and they are basically a little bit of angle iron and they have a little quarter 20 threaded bolt on them so I can move them in and out. And on the bottom of this GoPro mount that I built, which is just a piece of wood screwed to it, I have some rare earth magnets. And that way I can just clip it in and put it right where I want it. Now this is my down shot on my actual table, but it's so easy for me just to clip it on there. And the cool thing is, is as we move around the shop, right, and I'm working over at the X-Carve, I have a piece of that same iron there, and it just clips in there. Now, when we're over at the chop saw right here, I have the same thing, and it just clips on, and it's one angle. So I'm not wasting a lot of time setting up shots. Over here at the rigid oscillating sander, I have another one of those kick-out dumaflagers, as I call them, and I'm filming. So it's really that quick for me to change in between different shots. Over at the Ritter board for a down shot, we have one up there. Now it'll stick, the rare earth magnets will stick to between anything. So when I'm shooting on the table saw, again, super easy. I'm working, I'm filming. So I'm not wasting a lot of time fiddling with camera angles, I can do a lot of that in post, and this really can go anywhere. Now on the garage door, it also hits there. So up here on the door, 
I can just set it here and angle it anywhere that I want as well. Now it does also go on the side of my truck sometimes for when I'm, when I'm spray painting stuff outside, it goes on the refrigerator sometimes. And then I just kind of adjust it, angle it where I want it and it's good to go. So this was a super awesome idea. This is a GoPro Hero 7 and I was also gifted this to, by my brother, which was super rad. And it's so much fun to have this simple, easy thing to film with. And sometimes I'll vlog with it. You know, I don't mind just saying, hey guys, you're awesome. All your subscribers are awesome. If you're not subscribed, do it and do it now. <laughs> but that's pretty much the way that I film. And then I can just set that back up, angle it up. And it's just on an old GoPro stand. It's just got some rare earth magnets and every station in the shop has a magnet or a piece of steel that it can hook to. I don't wanna be thinking about filming. I wanna be woodworking. And this is the fastest, quickest way to do that. Just some rare earth magnets screwed to the bottom of a piece of wood screwed to an old bracket for a GoPro. Yeah.